For long-time F1 fans, this is where it hits a little harder. The W11 marks the closing chapter of a tradition that's defined the sport since the 1950s, an era where engineers lived at the edge of what was possible ground effect in the 70s, turbo fury in the 80s, active suspension in the 90s, hybrid genius in the 2010s. Each generation brought innovations that seemed impossible. Engineers would find loopholes, exploit gray areas, and create solutions that made you go, how did they even think of that? The W11 was the culmination of this philosophy. It was what happened when the best engineers in the world were given the resources and freedom to create something perfect. No compromises, no artificial limitations, just pure engineering excellence. But that era is ending. In 2026, new regulations will fundamentally change Formula One. We're keeping the same 1.6 litre VI6, but it'll produce less engine power and rely far more on electric boost, almost a 50-50 split. The MG UH is gone, the MG UK becomes vastly more powerful, and the cars themselves will be smaller, lighter, and built for closer racing. With active aerodynamics, sustainable fuels, and tighter rules across the board, the sport is shifting toward control and standardization. The racing might get closer, overtaking might get easier, the championship fights might be more competitive, but the era of raw, unrestrained engineering, the era that produced monsters like the W11, is ending. We're trading speed for spectacle, innovation for entertainment, dominance for parity. The new regulations are designed to make sure no team ever builds something this far ahead of the field again.